Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to back up your old iPad and transfer all of your data to your new iPad. This is an iPad Air, this is an iPad Air 2. I've never turned this on, so I thought I'd show you with a fresh start. So let's open this up, it's unlocked, and as you can see, I have my iPad, notifications, and different apps. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is what will actually transfer, what will I actually move from one to the other? And the quick answer is everything. Everything that's here, for the most part, will be over here. There are a couple exceptions. Some of that is photos and videos. Photos and videos, you wanna make sure are backed up. Depending on what you're using, how you're using backups, I'll show you that in a moment, how you're using backups, it may not back up all of them. So you wanna make sure that you have those stored elsewhere also, uh, just in case. So anything from photos, videos in particular, and also music. If you have not purchased your music from the iTunes Music Store using the iTunes Store, or you don't have iTunes Match, uh, you're going to want to have that somewhere else. So if you have it on iTunes on your Mac or Windows computer, that's no problem, you can move it over after. So let's talk about the backup. Now the backup also will bring over all of your messages, uh, all of those text messages that you might be using on your iPad, it will bring over, this is true of an iPhone as well, and all of your saved games within your games. So let's first go and check our backup. So we're gonna to go to settings. Once we're in settings, we're gonna scroll down to iCloud. Once we're in iCloud, now this may look a little bit different for you depending on which version of iOS you're running. This is the latest iOS 8.1. So down here, find backup. You can see it's turned on. And the last backup was at 8.14 a.m. Now, if you're not using iCloud to backup, that's okay. Make sure you're doing it on iTunes instead, connecting to your computer. Now, if I go back and you're using iCloud, make sure all these things are turned on that you want to have backed up. Then you're going to back everything up. So let's do that. We'll just go to backup again. Backup now. Now, it will only back up when you're on Wi-Fi. So make sure you're on your home Wi-Fi network or some Wi-Fi network elsewhere. After this is done backing up, we'll look at it when it restores on the iPad Air 2. As you can see, the backup is now complete. It says 9.48 p.m., it's 9.50 p.m. Let's move over to the new iPad. So let's turn it on. And again, this is turning it on for the first time. And we'll wait for it to boot up. The new iPad is booted up. We'll unlock it, set our language, select where we live, Choose a Wi-Fi network. It's going to take a second. Join the Wi-Fi network. Then we're going to either enable or disable our location services. And here's where we restore. Now, depending on how you backed this up, you're going to select that option. In my case, it's the iCloud backup. We're going to log in with our account username and password. Once we have our iCloud username and password in place, we hit next, and then we're going to have to agree to these terms and conditions or we won't be able to use it. So as you can see, here is our latest backup. It says today at 948, that's the one we want. Simply tap on it. We'll wait a second. Now we could look at older backups if we wanted to as well. This will take a moment to restore, but it doesn't restore all at once. It restores a little bit, then it reboots the iPad, and once it's restored, it starts to bring all of the other apps over. You can see it says restoring about seven hours. That's not really accurate. It's probably gonna take a moment and then it will take a few more minutes, maybe 20 minutes. So be patient, just come back. If you had a lot of apps, it was going to take longer. If you don't, obviously it's going to be shorter and it somewhat depends on your Wi-Fi speed as well. The update completed successfully, so we'll have to hit continue. We'll have to put in our password for our iCloud ID again. After you hit next, it says updating iCloud settings. And now you can select what you want as far as iMessage and FaceTime. Hit next, and on an iPad Air 2, you can set up Touch ID or you don't have to do this. So I'll create a passcode. If you have iCloud Keychain, you can approve it from another device, use a security code or whatever you wanna use. I'll, I'll approve it from another device. And it will pop up either on my Mac or my iPad or whatever. And as you can see here, 
allow Aaron's iPad Air to use iCloud Keychain. And I do want to allow this. That was a lot of entering passwords, but you can see it says your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new iPad. So hit OK, get started, and you can see it looks identical, and it says restoring apps and media. When it restores, now this will take some time, you can see it's loading, it's going to do that with all of the different apps. Once it's done, and it doesn't want me to associate any more devices with this Apple ID. I've used them all, but you get the idea. I have a lot of Apple devices with my own personal ID, so I'll have to remove them on some. But thought I'd just show you that. It's pretty nice. You can do that, and you can see it's restoring now. It's already restored my contacts. Everything will match. Now it's moving on to the next. The only thing that's a little bit different is the App Store has an update. I actually did an update on this one uh, in between shooting the video. So it'll take a moment and I may have to put in my password for my different email addresses. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, everything will be the same, backgrounds the same, and then we can continue using it from there. Hopefully that helped you restore from an old to a new iPad. If you have any comments or questions you want to ask, please do that in the comments below. I try and get back to each one of those if I can. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.